Today we are dealing with the situation that it seems like it is inevitable if you have a lot of tarantulas and that is a spider escape. Even with one tarantula there is always a chance if you are not careful enough that it will escape but when you have this many that chance increases dramatically even though i am super careful i got some experience and all that nice stuff as you will be able to see in this video it can still happen and mistakes happen let me show you how it happened and you will see that it, it wasn't really a huge mistake on my part and let me just apologize for the mess and stuff over here and also you see i'm working on some furniture so that's why but as you know this is my pokey wall because majority of tarantulas on this shelf are from Pezzoteria genus or pokey for short and as you can see from uh, this beautiful little girl or should i say big girl they are big arboreal tarantulas this is cat she is Pezzoteria metallica she's not really oh there we go now you can see her really well so these are pokies and the one that escaped is not the small one not the middle size one it is actually the big one that usually lives in this enclosure and this is the Pezzoteria ornata she is actually the biggest tarantula in the dark den out of all tarantulas here this is the biggest her name is Elvira and I had her for a very long time and she is big approximately as my hand I have a big hand <laughs> and if you're wondering how did she manage to escape did i left the, the enclosure open no that wasn't the case today uh, it is a watering day and i'm watering all the enclosures that got live plants inside and these enclosures open like this you just pull them on front and it opens simple as that it is being held with a magnet like that also this one you see pretty simple design but what i noticed today as I was opening the enclosure, I noticed that I opened it really easily. It was like, what? Uh, was it even closed? It was standing up, but when I opened it, I didn't feel the resisting force from the magnet. And then I figured this out. It stands, you see, even when it is opened like this, it still stays up. And you basically cannot even see that the enclosure is open. But as I noticed that, I immediately started searching for a tarantula. And of course, it wasn't inside. I mean, she wasn't inside. I'm 100% sure that I closed it. But the magnet here, it is not really that strong, you see. So it seems that she figured out that if she pushes the, the door, that it will just open like this. And then she squeezed outside without opening the actual enclosure fully if she opened the door completely then they would just shatter you see if you let them go they just go boom even if even without this they would just go like foof and then they would hit this knob and just break also when i spotted that some other thing made complete sense let me show you you know that i collect cans and here on the wall i have a small part of my collection well when i entered the garden yesterday in the morning bunch of these cans were on the floor and knocked down and what I assumed I just assumed that one of these guys escaped you see these big headlight roaches sometimes they also um, escape from their enclosure or some other enclosure that I use for feeding and they are kind of big enough to if they squeeze behind the can to knock the can down but bunch of these cans were on the floor and it was a bit suspicious but i assume it was that and today in the morning uh, these two cans were on the floor so now you see why it makes sense uh, it was probably her it was probably elvira just pushing behind the cans and knocking them down and that is kind of problematic i mean it's not problematic that the cans were on the floor but it is problematic thing that a big spider is outside i mean big tarantula is outside on the loose because you know that felix got an open enclosure and technically she would be able to grab him if she finds him thankfully tarantulas are active during the night and that is the time when felix sleeps look he thinks that i'm going to feed him and uh, that is the time when he sleeps so thankfully even if she entered his perimeter i mean his enclosure she wouldn't still uh, grab him because he was just standing still not moving anywhere and since she knocked these two cans it means that she was pretty close to him that means that we need to find her right now unfortunately in the dark then 
there is a lot of places for big spider even though she is big spider there is still a lot of places for her to squeeze and hide but since she is arboreal i will assume that she will be somewhere on top so maybe over here behind these enclosures maybe over there behind these technically she could also enter this huge enclosure that i built because i never close it fully there is gap and there is also a gap so she's maybe inside of that who knows i just hope that this won't take too long and i'm not sure if this will be a standalone video depending on how quickly i find her i will most likely add some updates to the end of this video i mean after the whole shit i guess so yeah as i said first i will check this area this entire area and then we will slowly move over there and then after everything we are going to search this room but i will assume that she is not here because this is a bit colder room while well, this is a bit warmer room because we have the ac here heating the space but tarantulas love heat so she's most likely in this room so yeah let's just start in previous dark den i also had a big hysterocratus gigas female escape and it was a similar thing like this because she opened her front door front facing door that was being held down with a magnet perhaps i should switch all those enclosures Anyhow, uh, I searched everywhere. I searched the entire dark den. I was super thorough and I couldn't find her. So I just gave up. I assumed that she, when the door were open, that she, that she escaped outside. But a few days later, when I was feeding other tarantulas, I found her inside of the roach box. You know, I have um, a big closed box with all the roaches inside. And inside it is warm and humid, yeah humidity and warmth that is what attracts them uh, there was a hole on front so that's how she managed to get inside but this time that hole is blocked so i know that she's not inside anyhow i have a light and i'm going to check behind behind these shelves okay nothing in here technically she can squeeze inside of the boxes because there are holes here a lot of potential places for her to hide I have an empty space right here but I cannot check if something is over there because I would need to move these or these shelves but I can take a picture and see what is behind it is clear it seems like let's just check the Felix enclosure just to be sure Felix did you had some visitors during the night you say no you have no idea okay okay uh, now I'm going to check up there that looks like a promising spot i'm kind of afraid to just poke with my fingers she could be anywhere Oh my... Ha ha ha! You see this? <laughs> I was fixing the camera to set it up like this and I intended to go and check each of these boxes but then I spotted her over... Yes! This just started to be super tedious and I was like, please God, please, if you're out there, just let me find her easy because there is so many places where he where she can hide let me just show you one thing that i that i absolutely need to close off after recording this video look at this imagine if she went over there through that hole she got access to entire ceiling i mean above the ceiling and that would be terrible thing but thankfully she is right there hello elvira did you had an adventure of your lifetime huh <laughs> incredible incredible i should grab a catch cup and grab her just a second although she will kind of be too big for this catch cup 
Uh, it doesn't matter, I figure... Oh, oh, oh! I also need a poking stick. The legendary poking stick. With it and the catch cup, I'm invincible. Let's see how it will go. Mm. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa, hunting mode is on! I didn't expect that. Oh. <laughs> Let's check where she's hiding. I'm not sure if I can... Oof, how to open this with her inside? I assume she went... Oh no! Where did she go? How did she disappear? You see inside I got sent for the texture, but I assume that she went over the box that quickly. But... But that was a bit too quick. There she is. What are you doing? That is so naughty, you know? Super naughty. What is your plan? The grand plan. One-handed operation is not the best idea, but... Go oh there. <laughs> what? <laughs> this was crazy. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we are safe. <laughs> uh, this was one exciting video, huh? Exciting indeed. Back where we started. Uh, I'm going to put her inside even though her magnet is too weak, but then I will add additional magnet here and therefore it will be a bit stronger. This is where you belong. I can actually unscrew this. Oop. And if I poke this over there... Come on. I know as soon as I touch it with my hands she will just bolt out. It usually goes like that. That also works. Now she's back inside. Let me grab a better magnet. This is what I have in mind, you see? This is a small strong magnet and what I will do, I'll just put it here and in theory that should increase. Oh yeah, now it is stronger, definitely. This should prevent future escapes, but for sure I should replace all of these enclosures replace them with this design and just make a bigger version of this enclosure. But that will take a lot of work and time, which we don't really have in this video. But since we found her kind of quickly, uh, I'm going to add some more stuff to this video. But we need to do a time jump and I have one task that needs to be done. You know that camel spider that I got on Terra Plaza? Uh, we need to build an enclosure for it, but the problem is all of these 20 by 20 cubes that are perfect for camel spider are occupied, but I have plenty of these arbore arboreal versions. So since in these enclosures I actually have a huntsman spiders that are technically arboreal, they are not super big, so uh, they are fine inside of this enclosure, but still it would be better to move them in these enclosures, and that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to move uh, two of these huntsmen, and therefore I will have uh, one empty enclosure for the camel spider. They molted once or maybe even twice since last time you've seen them, so they are a bit bigger. And I think that one is a uh, male and the other one is a female, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be easily mistaken. I already prepared and fully set up the enclosures for them, and in fact I would be rehousing all three of them, but I only have two backgrounds prepared. Even though I made more backgrounds, the silicone on them is still curing, so therefore they are not ready to be put in the enclosure. But soon you can expect more enclosures being set up and more tarantulas getting a nice glass enclosures. So first I will move the one that I think that it's male. I have catch cups prepared because you know they are super bolty and the last time I was rehousing them one gave me quite of a chase and I was actually forced to move this entire table because it fell down, it jumped down and went under the table behind. So I had to move everything and it was a really stressful video. But hopefully today we won't have the same experience. <laughs> so wish me luck because I'm gonna need it. I think that the male is behind this cork bark. Is he? Yeah, there he is, you see? And this one is a really fat male, you see? <laughs> but check out his leg patterns. I don't think that he had these when I rehoused him last time. Hmm. The tactic today will be I will grab the cork bark with tweezers and hopefully just move it, move it gently inside the new enclosure. <laughs> what can go wrong, right? I'll put his enclosure like this to minimize the risk. And let's go. 
So far so good. Yes. Flawless. Whoa. <laughs> I think that we are safe now. And we can also have a closer look. Sweet face. <laughs> it appears that as long as you don't touch them directly, they won't really try to escape or bolt. You see how he is super calm. And technically I could just leave him on this core inside of the enclosure and let him naturally go inside of it, but I want to show off his movement in this video. So here goes nothing. Oh? Oh, he's actually not that bolty. Pretty calm. Maybe because he's so fat. <laughs> Maybe he's in a pre mode, so that's why he is so slow and so chill, I don't know, but fine. It makes my life a bit easier and less stressful, to be honest. Let's now see if the female will give us the same treatment. She's behind this cork bark. And you can see that her appearance is a bit different. Mostly the carapace is different, but also the abdomen seems to have a bit less details on it. And also legs don't have those black bands pronounced, those dark bands that the, the other one got. So we are going for the same tactic. I will close this door and hopefully, and hopefully she will just stay on that cork bark. So let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Just calmly, calmly. Okay. And I will take this glass and put it on top. Okay. And now she will just go in the right direction. Oh. <laughs> I go down a bit. A little bit more. And more down. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh. There we go. No escape today. Na na na. And we can actually now observe their underside. We can compare them because male is here. You see how his underside looks like? <laughs> Look at the spinner it's going. <laughs> uh, I will grab the, the macro lens. So this is the underside of the one that I think that it is a male. While this is the underside of the one that I think that it is a female. And you can actually see the slit over here that looks like sperm thicka from the outside although I didn't actually see some pictures so I can compare it but going from straight logic I, I would say that this is the thing more knowledgeable people could easily confirm this I think so once again female and male clear difference for sure and look at the fangs you can see how the position of their fangs is different than tarantulas. Tarantulas actually got fangs like this, while these guys, the true spiders, got fangs like this. So, clear difference. And with this now, we can end the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple or Monday. So, see you again in a week. Bye! <laughs>